This is Seth Wires from Dev Express, and I wanted to show you a brand new feature we have in version 2010 volume 2 for the Windows Forms and User Designer. Now you have the ability to customize the icons in a field list. So notice here I have a report loaded up in the end user designer called the product report. And here is the field list. What we want to do is we want to swap out some of these icons so that we can show some custom icons. Let me show you how this is done. This is the project we just saw loaded up. What we've done is we've created a product report and we're showing it in the end user designer. This product report lives in the demo.reports project and you can see it here. It's pulling information from the Northwind database. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a component. We're going to call that component custom field list. In that component, we're going to add an image list which is found in the components toolbox. So let's add the image collection. Then we're going to add some images that I've set up already on the desktop. Hit open and hit OK. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to switch over to the code for this component and inherit from I field list service. This lives in the Dev Express X Reports user designer namespace. Now what we're going to do is we're going to implement it. The first method that we need to override is the create image collection. We've already created that, so let's return image collection. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to implement the following three methods. We're going to leave these at zero. And implement this one. So we're going to return zero at first, but what we're going to do is we're going to check the string data member. The reason why we're returning one is because that is the index of the category's image. Notice that absent is sort of zero. The last thing we need to do is we need to tell it to use that. All right, let's run it and see what happens. Okay, notice that when we go over to the field list, the default is this little blue button, right? And now we have categories being this new icon. Let's change customers and employees and orders. And let's change them to the corresponding number, 2, 3, and 4. And let's run it again. Okay, notice that categories, customers, and employees, and orders have the new special icon that we set up. Let me zoom in there so you can see it. Well, thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.